Welcome back, I'm GamerMade0. So last time we climbed the big mountain in the back there. You can barely see it now because of how dark it is. Um, but we flew all the way over here trying to get to this mountain here. We knew that wasn't going to work. <laughs> I didn't even make it too much past, what is it, that mountain right there. So we just came down up here and found a uh, slug over here. So anyways, it's just going to travel across these, see how far I can get to the other side by jumping from one of these to the other. Alright, we've already used a lot of the jetpack fuel and I'm probably not the best on using it. Basically I'll use it. Alright, before we start swimming. I probably could just swim it, but... I hear something. Oh yeah, there it is. Is he like getting stuck? Nope. There we go. Too bad. All right, before our health goes too low. Criteria more interesting. I mean, we now have a constant supply, so there's no need for me to do that. But all right, let's see if we can get over here. Actually, let's check out the map here. Yep, this area has not been explored yet. These look pretty cool. I don't know what this is. That's interesting though. Doesn't exactly, I mean, from the outside it kind of looks like a tree. But on the inside, it should have rings or something like that. But maybe it's like a giant mushroom or something like that. Or one of those things that have been chopped down. A giant version. There are a few monsters over here. Are they protecting something interesting? Probably gonna go fight them, find out that they're not protecting anything important. Oops. Is that a geyser? And they got it on the side. I think the AI has changed a little bit on these things. Cool. We could put another geyser right there. Or another one of those, uh... Geothermal generators. Of course, I don't have any of the supercomputers and the rubber, but I could come back and get that. Where is it on the map? Okay, anyways.
Oh, we have another one on us. <laughs> Was that cool? These things are all over the place over here, they're kind of cool. Alright, I'm not really seeing a way to get up there. Ooh. if that's a purple one just in the red light it looks red maybe but there's big creatures we'll go this way where I can put there. I think it might be close enough to the top, but it never hurts. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. I almost wonder if I could have used this area here to come up here to come up there. too high though. I don't know if this will do anything different. Let's try this one though. Oh. I don't know if the different angles have anything to do with anything. Okay. Hmm. It's not quite working. There's just nothing really that close over there. It's like too low though. It's the same height we are now if we come over here. a little bit lower. We'll find out pretty quickly whether we can make it or not. Nope. Alright. We're going to have to do a little bit of building. Actually, that should be a lot easier doing it like this. Okay. 
Okay, let's get some of these materials back here. didn't get oh well let's go ahead and actually angle this way Exactly, have a lot of plates. <laughs> Almost there. This one's a big one. Actually, it's not as big as the last one. We just could climb up one of the rocks. Just big enough. Huh. And then the whole thing I can put a foundation on. Except for the very top lip, but that's okay. There's nothing on top of this thing. Oops. All right, and the map, nice. I actually wish we were appointed. Hmm. All right, well, let's go to the next hill. Interesting. I actually think we're gonna make this one. We we're just high enough. Oh yeah. Actually with room to spare. Only issue now is we're just about out of jet fuel. Poison, huh? Actually, I don't think I ran. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, now I'm a little faster this time. There we go. So 
a slug down there. It's just a green one, though. What's up here that it needs a poison? That looks pretty cool. I think like we did way earlier in the video when we found an area that was just not finished, we found a nice area that doesn't have a lot to it right now. So I expect to give them another month or two. This area will be looking pretty different. You might have the same mountains and stuff around here, but they're going to have a lot more here to see. Oh, hey, there's a manta ray. Ooh, I bet we could ride one. Let's actually see if we can get over there. We know it goes under that arch, so if we can get on that arch, which of course we can. Oh hey. And there's actually a slug here. Okay, I don't know this thing's pattern. So I don't know how long it's going to take to fly that way. And I don't have a lot of jetpack fuel left, so let's come... There we go. And see if we can just walk up this. There we go. Alright, so we know, I just saw it coming this way, up underneath this thing and going this way. I know it's hanging around there somewhere. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's a moon or if that's another planet. I don't think I've spent enough time looking at the sky and the other things in it. Alright. There's a wreck right there. Don't have a lot of jet fuel left, but can I make it? Oh, there's a poison creature there. Yeah, let's not mess with that right now, actually. Dang. Okay. Trying to keep a lookout to see where it's coming from. Alright, what else? Oh, let's take a look at the map here. It's interesting that thing's moving towards the right, I believe. Wait, hold on, let's put my cursor right on the edge. It's very slight, but it is moving to the right. They didn't just make a simple skybox on this one. These ones have... Not just the clouds move differently, but different objects in the sky move differently. That's pretty cool. Oh, those are their tree things. Or not tree things. On their sides. <laughs> Alright, I feel like we'll see it soon. I just don't know if it loops around back this way, or if it comes from over this way. Or maybe something else.
There it is. Okay. Now I have one shot at this, and this thing moves decently fast, so I should probably come towards it. I was pretty sure you went under the arch. Are you actually going to go over it? Nope. Okay, good. Alright, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. These guys have like little birds trailing it. Alright, this is pretty cool. area it's taunting us with another slug those big trees are pretty cool kind of ride. Jeez. Going under another slug. I think they're actually growling at us. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Another wreck up there. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I jumped. I shouldn't jump while I'm on this thing. There's another slug. so many of these things here. I remember now that I see it, but I forgot all about that. Alright, that was pretty awesome. Alright, so we're back over in our coal area, so we'll just head back towards our home base here. Um, we didn't really find a lot of rocks to break, and the ones we did um, didn't have anything, so it was kind of a complete bummer. So if we have the novelists, um, it might be nice if they actually do something, <laughs> or at least reveal something. 
Um, I have seen the videos of people using them against some of the big creatures and things like that. Uh, until I get some automation to those, I think I'll just use my Xeno Basher. So, maybe it's not as fun, but uh, they're kind of a rare commodity right now, so... But, uh, we'll get those automated before too long here. So, thank you guys very much for watching. That's going to be... I think next episode we might go ahead and automate the sulfur. That would probably be a good, uh, good move to do. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like to be notified of future videos. Leave comments. Tell me what you like, didn't like. If there's areas you want me to go, things you want me to see. Alright guys, and we'll keep checking our map updates. And eventually, I'm going to cover the entire... Uh, what do I call it? The entire game world and those map radars. So, thank you very much again, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!